What's one thing that you think should be taken for granted? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe friendship, dude. Maybe friendship. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> Can you give anyone advice to be more social and get themselves out there more if they feel like they're in their shell? You know what? I'll, I'll give you a serious answer. What you're doing right now. And that's exactly what I would tell him. I mean, you know, the real answer to that is actually, it's, it sounds simple because it is, and it sounds obvious because it is, and it's kind of scary because it kind of is, but it is to just try. Okay. Like if you stay at home, you just have to remember you'll never meet somebody there. If you, if you don't say, if you don't say something to somebody, if you don't go into social situations, you won't talk to somebody. So you, the, the answer is you just have to leave your home mm -hmm. and you have to take the risk. There's no reward without risk. Share your drugs. Uh, Share your drugs. <laughs> that always helps. Share your drugs <laughs> always helps, bro. If you're in a public place or at a party and to go up to somebody and say hi or initiate the conversation, the worst thing that's going to happen is the conversation is going to end and you don't click with that person. So don't put so much fear and heaviness on it because you're going to randomly connect with the people that you're supposed to, that are supposed to be in your life, that are positive influences around you. And you need to get outside of yourself and you'll meet people and squash that social anxiety. That's my opinion. Also, I'll say one more thing. They're probably feeling the same I fucking way. I was about way. to yeah. say that, yeah. The other end's probably feeling the same way. You heard him, everyone. Picture people naked. It'll help. <laughs> um, what? I feel like... I literally feel like I'm on a high school broadcast right now. <laughs> with the phone With the out. phone. Like the interview <laughs> back and forth. You heard it here, folks. On legions of... <laughs> legions of skanks. Legions. <laughs> legions. Skin lesions of skanks. Funny is great. Yeah. You can make people like you if you're funny, even if you hate them. And you put that out there the whole time, and they come back, and then you go, beep, beep, and they go, ah, I love this guy. <laughs> Let them talk. Okay. Let the other people talk. Yeah, you don't have to say, you don't have to put your fucking life story out there. If someone's fucking, if they're a real one, they're going to ask you eventually, like, what's your fucking deal? But also, that... embrace your heartedness. Okay. Don't think it's weird. I'm an idiot. I don't, yep, we just got cut off, dude. Oh, nah. no signal. I knew we weren't recording this entire time. She's recording. So. What, if you say it cuts out? <laughs> on this? <laughs> Christ, I thought, I'd be, I thought I'd get my own show if I yelled it enough. That's how you get your own show on Gas Digital. You say three times. <laughs> okay, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. So, speaking of social faux pas, let's say someone gets in one. How can they get out of it? What's a great way to kind of resolve any like social faux pas you might make? I'm trying to figure it out right now, actually. Um. <laughs> ah, motherfucker! Hey. If you if you just accept that you're not gonna change that much, and you're you just are who you are, and that the people who are supposed to be in your life, you'll find and you'll attract those people, it'll stop messing with your head about the people who don't like you, mm. like. If you're so focused on the people that you want in your life, but they are like pushing you away, maybe those people are not the people that you want in your camp because they probably don't want your best interest at heart. If, if for whatever reason, if you keep getting rejected over and over, it's the people who champion you yeah. and that you want to surround yourself with. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there, it's a cliche thing, but they always say, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. And that's the fucking truth. There's only one you out there. Talking to you fans out there, there's only one of you out there. Even though there's a bunch of you, individually, there's one of you out there. I don't think anybody should accept who they are, because you can always change. If you don't want to be who you are right now, you can fucking change that. But I do agree with the fact that, you know, you keep a tight circle of friends, you keep fucking people in your corner, and, you know, half the people in life, not just comedy, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Or you join the clan. I don't know. <laughs> like, they, they're, that's the thing, is if you join a hate group, you immediately 
you immediately have like automatic friends. <laughs> yes. That like absolutely. believe. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it could be the other side too. You could be like a black Israelite. You, you know can, what I mean? You can join yeah. Al Qaeda. You can join um, the. Just hate somebody together. People love a common enemy. I would say if you're really struggling with uh, friends that join a hate group. I'm going to be honest, I forget what the question was because the finger pointing made me laugh so hard that I started only thinking about the finger point.